What I love about wine is that there's always a story behind wine. And so I love learning about uh, the people that are a part of this journey, uh, this entire journey. There's so many hands that are involved in, in, in crafting a wine from you know, the crews that are out in the vineyard and, and how many passes they've made and how many, how many hands have touched those canopies and pulled leaves or dropped a little bit of fruit. Um, you know, the story starts there. And, and then on top of that, I think once you, you have that, that bottle of wine, you may be sitting down with friends and family and you're gonna create your own memories and your own stories. And so I think it just, it's, it's something that brings people together. Um, yeah, very uh, intriguing and pleasing. My name is Jeff Owens. I'm the head winemaker here at Odetta State, and we are in the Stag's Leap District AVA of the broader Napa Valley AVA. You know, the vision here, like with any place, is that we want to craft wines that have an expression and sense of place. Um, so we're trying to capture that, that terroir. That's the most important thing. So we're not trying to be anything other than the Stag's Leap District. Um, I want to craft wines that are a true expression of, of this site. So we acquired this property in February of 2012. We became the second owners after the vineyard was planted back in 1964 by Dick Stelsner. And so it hadn't changed hands in over 40 years. So we came in and um, one of the first things we wanted to do was transition some of the, the farming to organic and become organic certified. When we think about organic certification and um, you know, what it takes to become certified, one of the main things is to eliminate the use of pesticides and herbicides. And I'm a firm believer if you're putting something into the ground that could be harmful to you, I don't want to put that into my body. And if we can eliminate that through the use of other practices, um, we feel like that's the right thing and the future of agriculture. You know, when you use herbicides and pesticides, um, things like glyphosate, Roundup, um, it kills both the good and the bad. And so we want to have a healthy vineyard with less of an, an impact from humans as we go through. Um, so that we can enhance the overall health and, and ultimately craft uh, the best possible wine. When you move to organic farming, you are setting yourself up for future success with a healthier vineyard. LEED certification is something that is very important to myself and the entire team here. And LEED stands for Leadership in Environmental and Energy Design. It is the greenest possible building that we can have in this location. And so we're using a lot of recycled materials. You know, we have things like recycled shipping containers. Uh, we've created a beautiful lab and an office and a nice space to work in. It's one of the only condition spaces that we have within the winery. Um, so that's another element of LEED certification is being as efficient as possible. The winery itself is all non-conditioned, so the only you know, cooling or heating that uh, is going into effect uh, would just be the tanks if they're in use. Throughout most of the year, we're actually not using the tanks, so there's, there's uh, no energy being uh, consumed there. And then other than that, we're using the natural uh, cave storage throughout the balance of the year. It goes beyond that with just not only the building supplies, but um, kind of the practices that we have as far as you know, our carbon footprint and really just being as aware as possible as far as our energy use, water use, and, um, and having best practices. Yes, so we do have solar panels on the back side of our roof. So living green roof and solar panels. And I think the living green roof really provides a nice insulation. And when you walk underneath entering the winery building, and it's, you know, say, 90 degrees outside. Uh, it's going to be quite a bit cooler and, uh, and very comfortable, in fact. I'm a big fan of the Stag's Leap District ABA, and uh, thank you, Nathan Fay, for being the pioneer and <laughs> planting the first uh, Cabernet grapes down here. I'm thankful for the opportunity to work with great people and passionate people. Um, this has also provided me uh, an opportunity to kind of live out my dream and my passion and provide for my family at the same time too. So it's a great combination of, of everything.
Take them out of the gauntlet. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah.